a wonderful gathering of school administrators, staff, students, politicians, invited guests. The invited guests included former astronaut and current member of parliament Mark Garneau here at General Vanier Elementary. Terrific school and a lot of the people were here for the simple reason of talking about the STEAM pilot project. Science, technology, engineering, arts, math, and now there's talk of a lot of expansion. Yeah, no, I, uh, I applaud the English Montreal School Board for doing this, and I think it's a recognition that the world is changing. Education has to evolve with it. It can't remain static. And to bring into a program science, technology, engineering, math, that, that's something that I know very well, but also the art side of it. Because I think that uh, to be a full, uh, well-developed person as you grow up and just still have an imagination and curiosity, the arts are very much a part of that as well. So I love the approach that they're taking. I congratulate them on it, and I think that I wish it had been around when I was young. When I come in in the morning, I sit down and I look at the computer models, and then we also have chats with all of our weather experts, and we sit down and we decide what the forecast is going to be, what we think is going to happen for Montreal. And then with all of that information, I sit down and I build the graphics. So as Anthony was mentioning earlier, it's not just science that we need to do the job that I do, but I also have an art background because I studied broadcast journalism. Because what do I do with all of that science that I learned? I have to get up and I have to talk in front of people, right? So when, uh, when was it decided that STEAM would be brought in as even a pilot project? Well, certainly our pedagogical team looked at that project uh, as they sometimes you know, are looking at new initiatives that have been tried. In the United States, it's been around about since about 2013-14. Uh, and we began with one of our schools, Pierre Le Trudeau. General Vanier came on board uh, just right after that. It's been an amazing initiative. The students are so engaged by it, really. And from what I understand, there's at least a dozen other schools that are, have expressed interest? Many schools have expressed interest. It was a question of seeing how it would work, how we could incorporate it, uh, what the reaction of our teachers, our students, and our parents was going to be. But it's been such a positive thing that we, will, uh, we do want to bring other schools on board. Did you wish this program had been around when you were a kid? Absolutely because for me, they were very polar things, the science and the arts, at the time when I was in school. And I remember, I had a knack for numbers and math and physics, and I specifically remember my physics teacher saying, in secondary five, we were applying for Seja, and he came up to me and he said, Sabrina, I hope that you are applying in the sciences, in pure or in health science. And I said, no, I'm not applying in the sciences because my love is languages and English and communications. And he said, well, that's a mistake. You should apply in the sciences because you're good at it. They were very two polar things. And if you did one, you couldn't do the other. So a program like this is so refreshing and so eye-opening to understand. You could love one thing, and it could have aspects of a subject that you may not think you have a knack for, but it does. So it's just very eye-opening in that sense. If you would ask any any child like in our school, and I think also at Pierre Elliott Trudeau, say, what do you think about STEAM? They, they, they'll jump up and say, yes, we like it. I think they don't really know what it is, but it's, it's, it's putting everything together, creating, innovating, inventing. They like to do things with their heads. I've asked most people of a certain age, including my, like myself, if they had wished that when they were a kid, if this program had been around. I suspect you would say... Yes. Yes, myself, with a science background. It would have... Uh, well, it, it brings them to a different level. Coming out of elementary school, having done a few of things like this, uh, brings them to a different level in terms of being ready to approach science differently. And, and maybe from your point of view, how important having at least some kind of a background in science is important for kids, you know, these kids and when they're going to look for work in a few years. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even if, it, if the particular child is not the science kid, maybe an arts-minded child, this does bring art into the mix. The fact that STEM has become STEAM does bring art into the mix. When I was a kid, and I think some kids felt the same way, that they saw science as fairly intimidating in terms of learning. But now with STEAM working together in groups, I would imagine that that takes a lot of the pressure off. It certainly does. So uh, students can use each other's strengths, each other's uh, ideas, creativity. And so I may be less creative, but I may be stronger in one subject. So we kind of work collaboratively together. And therefore, it's not as intimidating. I'm not expected to do this on my own. I can share with others. Barry Morgan reporting for EMSB-TV.